Hey, Cool Gray. And with me is my favorite guest, Mr. <laughs> cool Gray. It is freezing in Florida. We are in the middle of a winter chill. It's the very beginning of January and we have some leftover roast beef, prime rib from our Christmas dinner. So uh, for the third time in what, a week? <laughs> we are gonna make roast beef hash. Uh, if you are a hash fan, you're about to enter a whole new universe of hash. Mr. Cool Gray here has been making roast beef hash with the leftover Christmas uh, prime rib for many, many years. Mm. And our favorite recipe comes from a Cook's Country magazine. Uh, it's actually a, an issue that showed up as a promotional copy at our door. Uh, we saw the recipe. He thought it sounded amazing, tried it. He was right. So <laughs> I'm gonna do my handheld thing and I'm gonna ask all the questions. He's gonna do all the cooking and we are gonna make this together. You're gonna love it. Yes. Say hi, honey. Hi, honey. Okay, here come the ingredients. For our ingredients, uh, Mr. Cool Gray is gonna narrate this wonderful handheld zoomy zoom that I'm about to do. <laughs> what do we got, honey? Okay, we've got two and a half cups of chopped roast beef. Um, we have two pounds of cubed potatoes, raw. We have mm, about a regular onion chopped fine. We have half a teaspoon of fresh thyme chopped fine. And two cloves of garlic chopped fine. Half a cup of heavy cream uh, and four eggs. What's that for? And hot sauce goes in as well. Yay! Just so a little bit. For equipment, you're going to need some kind of a potato smasher. We like this one. <laughs> and then for a skillet, we're using a heavy, nice, deep, uh, non-stick skillet and a couple tablespoons of butter, which we will melt for browning our onions in momentarily. Okay, here comes the first step, which is going to be... The first step is to uh, brown the onions and uh, microwave the potatoes to partially cook them so you don't spend all night trying to cook the potatoes in the hash. Okay, so we're going to do that together mm -hmm. in just a minute. So the butter's melted. <laughs> And we're ready to get started. So what are we going to do, hon? Okay, onions into the butter for probably uh, six or seven minutes to begin getting close to brown. And you have that on a medium heat right now. Is that That's where right. you keep it at? That's right. Okay. And get them going. And while they're cooking, the potatoes go in the microwave for about seven minutes with a stir in the middle uh, to partially cook them so they're ready to go in. Okay, so you're going to cover that up because we don't, we don't want it, uh, we don't want any You're steaming venting. them, so yes, okay. you want to cover that up. So, so you're using, because of the size of the bowl we have, it doesn't have a cover. Right. We're using some wax paper to keep that steam in. That's right. Okay, up into the microwave. And we're doing how much? Well, seven minutes total, three and a half and then a stir. Um, just regular high heat? Yep. I'm giving it a stir at the halfway point. It's pretty hot, yes? Oh yes. So be careful of Quite your hot. fingers. So our onions are just where we want them to be. A couple of them have a little bit of a beginning to brown. Perfect. Okay, so now what happens? Uh, garlic and fresh thyme go in. Just for a few seconds to get them making nice smells in the kitchen. And then we are going to put all the ingredients in the hash and start it cooking. It's going to get very hash-like very yes. quickly. Yes, yes. Okay. All right. So, in goes the beef. And our bowl of potatoes is super hot, so we're going to be really careful with them. Yes. Yes, because it just came out of the microwave. It's extremely warm. 
and it will burn you. That's why I have this. Because, you know, we're cooking in butter um, and we're not worried about diet or anything with a <laughs> dish like this, um, cream, heavy cream. Yes, sir. Wow, and is that for consistency, for flavor? Do we know? It's for flavor and you need a little liquid to help it cook. Okay. Um, we're going to put a little hot sauce in there, just a teaspoon. You wouldn't even know there was hot sauce in this recipe. It, it, no, I can, I can vouch for that because I'm a heat wimp and uh, yeah, there's yeah, never, it's not spicy at all. It's just yeah. a little bit of depth of flavor. Exactly. Okay. Um, and then salt and pepper. And I just want to point out that we're using our amazing jadeite salt cellar. I just love it. Half a teaspoon of kosher salt. And about the same amount of pepper, but who measures? Pepper, 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 pepper. And it's looking amazing and it's filling the kitchen with such wonderful aromas. We're going to stir it all up combine it well and then we're going to increase the heat because you're going to want to get a crust on the potatoes and we're going to start mashing it. Uh, hashing it? Yeah that's... <laughs> you're going to start hashing it? That's what makes hash. Now we turn it up to medium high uh, and we smash it with the potato smasher. Oh and that happens right away. I right away. Well, we do process. it multiple times. Okay. We're gonna do is we're gonna smash it and then we're gonna not stir it for about four minutes as the heat gets hotter under it and it will start browning, getting a crust on it. And then we'll do this a couple more times and we'll have pretty nice hash. Okay, it's been cooking without being disturbed for about four minutes. It's time to start turning it a little bit. Starting to get oh, crust. Oh, 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 that's where the magic is. Yeah. So four minutes the first time. How long does it usually take before it's completely brown? Mm, it's a couple more cycles at least of the same kind of thing. Leave it for four minutes each time? Yeah, three or four. Smash it. Um, Are we gonna smash again? Oh yeah. You keep That's turning, how you like this recipe, right? Yeah. <laughs> you keep turning it over. Uh, and smashing smash. it. Half and, and smash and wait and brown and half and smash. Exactly. <laughs> now we'll leave it alone again. If anybody can successfully make this recipe after that kind of a goofy narration. Yeah. They deserve their chef hat. For sure. <laughs> so we've turned and smashed a few times. And I think this is our last one before adding the eggs, yes? Yeah, it's Looks getting good. nice and crusty in places. And <laughs> you don't want to burn it. So, because it's going to cook another five minutes with eggs in it, which is a neat kind of trick. One of the things we love the most about this recipe is that we're actually going to cook the eggs right in the hash. Uh, sometimes the yolks get a little overdone because you really do want a runny yolk to uh, love on these potatoes and, and the meat, but sometimes they cook a little bit more than we would like. Uh, but we're going to do it anyway. So how does that work? All right, well, what we do now is we turn it down to medium low, mm -hmm. and we make indentations in the hash for the eggs to sit in. We 
want to go kind of as deep as we can so that those whites will cook. Yeah. We don't get to turn the eggs over. Yeah, if you don't have a little bit of the bottom of the pan showing, um, your eggs won't cook uh, enough to to cook the whites. And, and it's kind of a, a careful thing you have to do. Anyway, you just crack the eggs into the indentations. I know we got some shadows here. Handheld Saturday night casual cooking with Ma and Pa Colbert. <laughs> We're so giddy in the kitchen today because we already know how crazy delicious this stuff is and I cannot wait to start eating it. No. And you just broke the bad news to me a minute ago that what was gonna happen after we have dinner tonight? <laughs> there should be some leftover for breakfast. Oh, what a heartbreak. So a little salt and pepper on the eggs. Cover it for five minutes so the eggs will cook. So basically we're gonna kind of steam those whites. Five minutes have elapsed. Look at that. You want to make sure the whites are cooked and it looks to me like they are. Yeah, if you have nice soft eggs that'll have a little yolk to run. Take that off the heat. And we're ready to plate. Yes, we are. Okay. So, cut it in wedges. You know, I think I need a better, a bigger spatula. Um, I don't want to lose pieces of it. I want to get it all at once. I'm going to break that. Oh, do you want me to hold the plate? Yes. Let's see if we can get it out of there without breaking it. Yes. We don't usually do that on camera. That's right. But it is hash after all. We're saving some for breakfast, aren't we? Yes. Well, that's, that's one portion. Okay. Let's see if we can do a better job with the next one. Cooking in the kitchen with the cool grays. It's so casual. There's our new jingle. <laughs> <laughs> see, that one came out in a wedge. That's what I'm talking about. The first piece is always the hardest, right? Get it to look pretty. There you go. All right. Dinner. Breakfast for dinner. We love it. Breakfast uh, for dinner. And you know what? <laughs> We're going to taste it right here in the kitchen. We're not even going to go to the table because can't wait. this stuff is amazing. First, let me see if I can get a nice egg yolk oh, drip for perfect. you. Can you see that? that? I don't know right. if you can. This lighting kind of steals it from you, but you want some of that runny egg to get right down in everything. Get a little bit of everything mm. here. Ready? Mmm. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Crusty beef, potatoes, onion. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Yum. Listen, make this. That's all I'm gonna say. We're gonna take the rest of this over to the table and enjoy dinner. He's just gonna continue enjoying dinner mm -hmm. while I tell you, thank you so much for watching this video. Would you please like it if you did? If you make this recipe, please let us know in the comments. Or if you have um, a similar recipe or other experiences with hash in your life, we'd love to know about it. <laughs> uh, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And on the main channel page, click the little bell, ding, ding, ding. You'll be notified whenever there are new videos. In 2018, we are doing cooking videos half the time and art videos the other half the time. Don't miss one of them. Thanks, and we'll see you next time. Say bye, honey. Bye, honey. <laughs>